This is it. We're rolling episode 508. No Laugh Track podcast here at Acme Company, Acme Comedy Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am Justin Severson, who gets to host this each and every week. With me this week, second time here on mm-hmm. the podcast, second time headlining at Acme. Jeffrey Osmus is here. How Hello. are you, sir? I'm I'm great. I'm feeling good. Just worked out at the little hotel gym. I feel like I could take on the world right now. <laughs> What, what's a workout at a hotel gym? Very little. Very little. I did just enough to break a sweat and feel good about my day. Now I feel like I earned the five gin and tonics I'll have at the show tonight. <laughs> That's how I earn it. I try to stay in shape a little bit. If you don't, you don't, and I don't feel like such a piece of shit. It's like, I fucking worked out. Perfect. I can black out. It's my, it's my gift from God. Perfect. When did you come to town? I got here on Wednesday. It's Friday today, yeah. So I got here Wednesday, Street. pretty pretty right before the show, actually. Really? No, I got here at like five, maybe. I got to the hotel at five. Or was so. there something special going on someplace else? Or no, I was in uh, I was in New York where I live, and I just I I've, I'm done with the early morning flights. I'm trying to not it's the six a.m. flights just destroy you. So I'm trying to splurp, pay that extra fifty bucks, and fly at noon or one p.m. or something now. Quickly, uh, I we had a uh, we went on a trip a few months ago. Booked the six a.m. flight. No good. Uh, especially bad when that flight then gets canceled. Oh, you didn't know before you got there. No, no. they didn't tell you. They oh, didn't know no. either. Oh wow. We saw the flight attendant that was claiming to be ill. They're like, she's back here. Do you want to talk to her yourself? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I didn't oh. put up an attitude, but I witnessed some other people getting Do very we need upset. Them? Do we need the flight attendant? I mean, oh, I won't get my Biscoff cracker. Who cares? Oh, uh, this was Spirit. There's no. Oh, no, then do not even. They don't do anything. They're just trying to sell you a credit card or whatever. Yeah, They're right. just trying to sell you their eight dollar <laughs> Pringles, mini Pringles or whatever. Yeah, they could have a sign do that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Was crazy. a whole thing. They Dang. ended up switching yeah, airlines. Yeah, I and also blah, try blah. not to fly. I've flown Spirit hundreds of times. It's not as bad as everyone says, but they do occasionally. I try. I don't fly that anymore. It, it was. It, it was not pleasant. You got to treat yourself in life. No more. United You're right. and American only. That's all I do. There, there you go. There you go. Uh, so last time you were here was almost the Pretty exact much exactly week. a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right after. We're I think right it was the week after for the July. Exactly. Last year, we're right yeah. before that. It was right after. But in any case, I know one of the things we talked about last time is uh, you had only been living in New York for a month at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And you were talking about uh, you didn't like the place you were in. You weren't going to stay there very long. Yes, I did get out of there. That place was terrible. That was really sad. The mattress didn't fit on the frame. So if I slept on the wrong part, it would fall off. I would fall off the bed. It happened at least a dozen times. And that's that's no way to live. <laughs> that's it, why you have to bring someone to join you in that. Was that when someone else was in the no, bed or just No, thank God, you? just me. If okay. it was another person, it would have been daily falling out of there. I bar- It was so... And their, their room just smelled bad. And there was a like a chimney that had ended with a window. So the sun just went right on my face every morning. It was, and that was the only window too, was that there was no other window. It was really sad. I've heard you mention you have a girlfriend. Is that how you get to stay at her place? At we live time? together now. Oh, we lived, but, we how moved about back in. then? You're like, I got to be at your place. This yeah, is well, awful. back then she lived in Chicago still, and I oh, lived in New York okay. for like, we were apart for like three months or so. And then now we live together with also three roommates, but that's just how this goes sometimes. Okay. Well, you just beat me to it. So now you've uh, you've upgraded. I upgraded. To girlfriend in the house and three roommates. And three fellow comedians. Yeah, it's very small. It is, it would, a Minnesotan would be like, this is is a studio and we have five people living there but like we live in new york you're never really in your apartment we're just you're out and about the apartment doesn't really matter that much honestly sure uh how many bathrooms do five people two share? thank okay. god i All wouldn't right. do one All the right. two bathrooms i'm fine and one guy's never really there it's really four people now we uh if people don't know we've talked about before you're from here from woodbury I am from woodbury minnesota mean streets. The, the mean streets the cultural hub of central minnesota <laughs> The best Applebee's in the region. <laughs> Everyone knows it. <laughs> Killer TGI Fridays, too. Are you, you're leaving out chilies. Is that chili? Are you chili, you're leaving our out chilies? chilies isn't up to snuff. Edina and Anoka chilies blow ours out of the water. They microwave the mozzarella sticks a little bit longer there. Shame on it's them. It's just better. Shame yeah. on them. Are you are you uh, visiting mom and dad while you're here? I don't think I'll actually. They, they, want they me came to, ask... to the show last night. They did. They were at the show on Thursday night. Yeah, they brought some old childhood friends and a, uh, 
an aunt or something. I don't even know. I, there was too many people. I couldn't even keep track. Yeah, they sat just beyond where I could see them, but I could feel their presence in the middle during the show. My mom has a very annoying laugh, and I, I heard it. I tried to keep it out of my mind. Because I, I had a really dirty set. I mean, I'm a fairly dirty comic, but last night, for some reason, it was a little dirtier than normal, and it's always weird when they're in the room for that. I can only imagine... Yeah, they've gotten used to it. They've seen me. I actually try to be dirtier when they're there just to get them not to come in the future. I'm just like, <laughs> stop coming to the shows. Because they, I'm back here like every six months like doing shows here or somewhere else. And they'll come to a show and they'll be like, a lot of jokes we heard last time. And I'm like, yeah, I can't write a new hour in four months, Mom. That's not how this works. I'm actually fairly prolific, but I can't write a new hour every four months. Do, they, do, do the, either of them tell you if they think things are funny or not? They do. They last night. My dad said this was the best show he'd seen me do. So that uh, I I don't even know if I would have agreed, but I I like that he said that. Yeah, that, I don't know why he. Yeah, maybe because I was more political. I think he liked that. Maybe ah, I think he likes maybe that. less making fun of him. Maybe I didn't make subject fun. Less, I only less? made fun of him. Yeah, and like one joke. That's true. I kind of yeah. That is, might have been it. That's all he really cared about. Yeah. No, he was. I wasn't funnier. He's just like you didn't make fun of me, so it was pretty damn good. <laughs> he doesn't talk like that. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Does it so uh, coming back to Minnesota and doing shows? Do you ever get through? I mean, you describe how they just they were just far enough away, but uh, like uh, let's say an old teacher shows up or an old ex girlfriend or something. Like, that, thank that ever, God, has I that ever thrown you off at a show? Thank God, I didn't have any girlfriends in high school, so I don't have that to worry about. No ex girlfriends, <laughs> but the, I have seen I like last year, like in the second row, what guy from high school was there, and I hadn't seen him since high school. And a he friend. Was, I, I, we were friends in high school, but we're not like close anymore, but I liked the guy, but he was like known as the guy with the big dick in high school. Everyone's like, Joe has the biggest dick. And so I had a thing with him where I was like, is it true? And then we had like a little fun little talk. That was fun. Is it true? You masturbated in math class or whatever. That was like the rumor in high school. And he's like, yeah, it's true. Yeah. So that was kind of fun to, con that's, that's kind of fun to confirm those things. Was now, Joe with his wife or significant he other? He was with his husband? sister, I think. Okay. I think he was with his sister. Yeah. And his sister also went to high school with me. Yeah. He, oh, you asked him about his dick size in front of his sister. Yeah. Yeah. I think she had heard about it. I think she. I think she'd probably heard the rumors as well. She didn't start the rumor. I don't think so. No, no. Okay. She's like in the tub. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, pretty big dick in the tub. <laughs> so I got to hear your set from Wednesday night. Oh, nice. Which was fucking hilarious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Wednesday uh, was I'm, a hot You show. didn't talk about me more or less than the last time. So right. this is this is a genuine review. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah I, I'm trying to. I'll bring you up tonight. But yeah, on Wednesday, <laughs> I tried not to bring you into too, it. Too much justice. Too much. Justin. No, fuck it. Hilarious. Thank Hilarious. You. And I don't want to give it away, but one of the, the I think you ended the set with a joke about mm, I can't uh, what being. I on. Uh, it was about your sister and about the very last tagline was something about like being in bed with her. Oh no, that's not where it is. Cause I would know from being in the oh, bathtub with her. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a joke I've been trying to get to work for <laughs> years that has just never quite made the buster. I, I, I think it's funny, but everyone, it, obviously I'm joking, but yeah, people, people get a little in their feelings about that one. I think, which is fair. I get that. Not everyone has zero morality like me. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, the gist of it, it just ends of, uh, there's a part of it where you're in a bathtub with your uh, yes, sister. Yes. Basically, yes. Yeah. I think that one, that might've been the final nail in the coffin for that joke on what it did well, but when you talk about being in a tub with your sister, it's got a crush. <laughs> it can't just be a B joke. It's got it's to do so well that they forget about the sin you just talked about. I was about. just going to say, that's the one that's fresh in their mind when they're walking out exactly. to their cars. They're like, well, I don't think we're going to buy his koozies. He talked about <laughs> sleeping with his sister in a tub. It, it really hurt koozie sales, and that's really what I'm in the business for. I'm trying to sell a koozies outside. The jokes I could care less about. I'm mostly a koozie salesman. So, uh... Since you were here last, um, I have I haven't attended yet, but I have I have bought tickets. I'm gonna attend my first comedy show with one of my children. Oh wow! Yeah. Wait, this weekend? No, no, later, okay. later, later like, in the year. Like this is probably not the. One. How old are your children? I'm bringing my 17 year old daughter to a show. Okay, okay. So she's she she's heard the stuff before. Yeah, but not in front of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, who are you seeing? Jessica Kirsten. 
Oh, she's pretty filthy too. I yeah. know. Yeah, Are you you don't want to sit. And she does a lot of crowd work too, so you probably don't want to sit up front. I bought the tickets. We're not in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. won't be in front. Yeah, God, that'll be right? that'll be fun though. Does it, uh, does she like? Does she show an interest in comedy? This your, your was daughter? her. Th- this was her suggestion not oh. to go to the show, but she follows Jessica on TikTok. TikTok. Probably, yeah, she's big on TikTok. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then asked me, like, you know, hey, have you ever met her? And I said I hadn't, but I know who she is. And then they announced a show coming up oh, later. Not, in the oh, no. Oh, she's coming here. Not here. It's a, It's at a, a independent place. Oh, okay. Down, um, gotcha. Nice. Later yeah, that'll be in fun. the year. A little one, one night thing. Nice. That's exciting. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm looking be... forward to it. But I don't, like I said, I bought the tickets because I don't want to be caught in a situation like I overheard from your show on Wednesday. Oh, When you're yes. talking to a, a uh, f- you're talking to a guy and it turns out to be father and son are I at the show. I love when that happens. That's my dream whenever I do crowd work. I love that. It has to be. I love when families are there. There's just so much dynamic to play with. It's always fun. And as a sit someone in the crowd at one of those shows, it's I love it. I yeah. love it as much as you do. It's I, fun. It's because it's awkward, but they were good sports too. If they're not good sports, I don't really go that into it, but they were really cool about it on Wednesday. When you, I don't remember even know how, what you asked him, but the information came out that the dad can uh, fuck for 30 minutes. Oh yeah, that was funny. Yeah. yeah, and then when he says that in front of his son. Yeah, and then the son's like, okay, dad. Dad, yeah, and also the dad's lying. That wasn't true. He was he was putting on airs for his son, trying to be the cool sixty year old dad. You're sixty, Carl. I think his name was Carl. Was. You're not you're not fucking for half an hour anymore. <laughs> Shut the hell up. But that was funny. Yeah, that was that was a good that was a good one. Like, okay, this could be posted online. Later. I just need my my son to believe this. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm a cool dad. I fuck your mom. Yeah. So if that were ever to happen to me with a family member, I. I would I would just pretend I'm deaf. Well, yeah, I'm well, just yeah. here reading lip. I don't know. Are you gonna lie? Would you lie? You'd be like, I'm not her dad. I'm her uncle or something. Or I don't I'm know what. I guess I don't know what better lie is. Yeah. I'm here alone. So what's yeah, it's your just, name? Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> just a 17 year old girl alone at a comedy show. It's no big deal. Her parents must not love her. I guess. Yeah. I'll give her a ride home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure, sure. <laughs> it's an arranged thing. Yeah, it's, it's an great. escort. Yeah. So the let's see. Last time we were here, we talked about that you were planning on recording a special. Yes. And I know that that special has been recorded. It is recorded. In it's Minneapolis. It's edited at it's, Sisyphus Brewery. Yep, yep. And it I've, is, seen a, I've seen a trailer for it. Yes. That looks really funny. It, it I, I think it's good. It's coming out July 20th, finally. It's okay. been a, a little delayed, but yeah, it's finally coming out. You keep you keep uh, teasing everyone with the I have been te- Yeah, it did become a little, which I actually think is has been good promo, actually. People are like, when's your goddamn thing coming out? Every day people are messaging me, so I'm glad that it is finally going to see I, the light of day. I searched again over the weekend going, it must have come out by now. I'm going to watch this I, People thing. keep asking me like, yeah, really? It didn't, yeah, it didn't come out. You know, because I had, there was, a, I forgot there was a, still a thing on my website that said special out, whatever, March, whatever day. And I forgot to take that down. So everyone's like, is he fucking lying? There's no Did special. Did YouTube take it down? Did the woke mob censor him or something? All these dumb comments. But yeah, it's finally coming out. I'm excited about it. That's awesome. But uh, you, I, th- I wrote this down. Last time you said about how you do better at a, we were talking about sets in New York versus, you know, like at a club here mm-hmm. and how you said you do better at like 30 to 50 minute sets. But I want to ask you, because you've gotten, you know, a lot of uh, followers. You've built a pretty decent following on social media. Yeah, recently, yeah. With small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with some Small shorter. clips. Yeah, yeah. So I think really... You can do well. I I I, I in learned. Both. Well, that's the thing. New York, you learn. You can't. You don't. Get, you get ten to fifteen minute sets. You never really do more than that. Yeah. So, you just had. I mean, uh, over a year, I've done hundreds of those now. So, it just you just get good at it. I mean, like I've I got passed at the Comedy Cellar, so I do lots of short spots there, and so that's how I've gotten. You have to really tighten your material, which is good for the internet too. They like that. They like those like quick sound bites and stuff. How, who recommended you at the cellar? I was recommended by Sam Marill and Mark Norman and my friend Ronan, Ronan Hirschberg, oh, too. So we know Ronan like, here. Yeah, yeah, he's been here, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah Ronan's great. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. He was my roommate for years in New York. Yeah, yeah, last time I was here, he was like, oh, this is a good deal. So 
the the podcast or the comedy club hosts the podcast, so basically I can't say no. I was like, you can say no. Uh, <laughs> Ron on would say that. Yes. That's such a classic. He's always complaining about something. Yeah, you hate yes. to say it, but it's the Jewish in him. He's a <laughs> he's the classic Jewish comedian, neurotic. I love him. He absolutely is. He's I've, so funny. Yes, I've I've become a big fan. So they, oh, that's really awesome. How long ago was did you that was go almost, through that process? That was a li- almost, it was, it's June 30th. It was like, well, I remember it was July 17th last year that I got passed. Yeah. Oh, I wow. Remember. Yeah. So it was almost a year. Yeah. So that's been, that's been a fun ride. Yeah. I mean, you get a, I had to follow like Chris Rock, Ray Romano, Michael Che. So that's been, that's cool. I mean, that's how you get, you're on this, like these really talented people. It really sharpens the knife. So it, it, it makes you better. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's that, crazy. Oh, that is uh, congratulations. That, I really, yeah. The, I would say Ray Romano was the cool. He was the nicest one. The other ones were like too famous to really talk, but he was like, a, he's a cool guy. Nice. I really, I didn't know, I didn't know much about his standup. He's really funny. I had never known that really. I found out my dad that like that's his favorite standup comedian. Really? Yeah, because you forget you're always like, oh, the sitcom, but he got the sitcom because of his standup. During COVID, my dad uh, uh, retired, so he still, you know, didn't have any thing to do really anyway but to fill his time during covid when we were all locked yeah. in the house he watched uh everybody loves raymond from start to finish wow and took notes on every episode what for what purpose i don't know for what to, i don't know what what would he would he go back and read like oh deborah was a huge bitch in season three i still <laughs> like, i don't know this is something I would, i'm probably gonna inherit someday yeah yeah he's like uh, i want you to have my everybody loves raymond notes, <laughs> my notes. Been in the family for years I, I, that's I, such a funny old man thing to yes do. right that's so funny yeah maybe he's like i won't remember it so i gotta write it down or i mean it helps me remember lines. stuff yeah yeah but I mean, what does he get? He's not like trying to memorize. I'm going to do these jokes. Someday. I'd love to see his notes <laughs> if it's just Deborah hot. Deborah still hot. <laughs> that's what she's Would a- bang Deborah. <laughs> God, I hope that's what <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that would be fun. Great dress on Deborah. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Derek Hughes is here next week. Derek probably, Hughes? I think I've Derek. met him. Wait. Is he a magician? Yes. Yes, I know Derek. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, I, he's from Minnesota, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I've met him before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever tried magic? As, as a kid, have, as an adult, I, d- I did have like this magic kit as a kid. I couldn't do it. There's a there's a thing with the magic is very. It's more difficult than I would have thought. There's like a patience to it, and like a and I'm not a patient person. And you have to try. You have to practice it, and that's it was not for me. No, I have a D. I actually I really love magic. A lot of people like look down. I think it's incredible. I, it yeah. blows my mind. I opened for this magician named Justin Willman. Oh, he's probably been here probably. He's been on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a great, he was cool in Madison when I opened for him. He's actually very funny too, yeah. but he did a funny thing where he would open every set. I don't know if he did it here, but he would open every show by being like, magic isn't real. I'm just going to be tricking you all and you're too stupid to figure it out. <laughs> and I thought that was just so funny. I really, and he had a couple of tricks that I could not figure out. That is very funny. Yeah, he's good. He's he really good. He was great. He had a couple, like, I was like, I have no idea how that is possible. Yeah, he was here when he was, I think, running the thing that ended up being a special on Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do it you was... remember? Did he do the thing where he had, like, a printer made of paper on stage that would suddenly work and make print, start printing stuff? That sounds familiar. Yeah, and then he would, like, crumple it up into a ball at the end, but it was it was made that, no sense. That sounds familiar. Yeah, he, he's, he's really he's good. He's wild. Not as good as Derek Hughes is going to be here next year. I'm sure Derek Hughes is just as good. <laughs> we shouldn't talk about another magician. Kidding, Derek kidding. will be great too. I uh, I want to I want to point out something that you do that I think is really funny. And uh, you know I hear other comics do uh, something kind of similar to this here and there, and it 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 makes me laugh every time. Um, when you preface a joke, oh, like with sure. "This is just a joke," oh yeah, or this, or you're like. This isn't going to go well. That's the thing. I've 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 always done that, but I've been doing it more recently. It really does. It does prepare them. Like if it it, it does work, it's like a stupid human trick. If I say a joke's not going to do well, it usually ends up doing pretty well because they're like, no, we want to like it. We want to li-. like. If I'm like, this joke didn't do well in Denver, they're like, well, we're better than Denver. We'll laugh at it. It's like a little mind game. It's a little like us versus them. Oh yeah. Or if you like, if you like, say like that joke's don't. This joke's only for smart people then everyone's going to want to laugh because they're like, I'm smart. I get it. It's all like a little... Comedy is a lot of mind games like that. I like that. Which I find... Very, I think that 
that's probably my favorite part of it is doing those things like that. I could see that. I could it's see a little. That. It's a lot of us versus them. Like, oh, f- me, we're in Minneapolis. Fuck Saint Cloud. Yes. Yeah. He, he, I do that everywhere in the country. There's always a city, fifty miles away, that they're like, yeah, fuck that. They fucking <laughs> suck. Everyone. It, it's 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 never not worked. <laughs> I I can I be- completely believe that. My fr- I had a, I, I have a friend named Tommy. Brennan, he actually uh, featured for Kelsey Cook here recently, but he he also does a similar thing where he we have a joke where we always say the town nearby, and he did a joke in he did a show in Dubuque, Iowa, and he asked the bartender like, "Oh, what's the shitty town?" And she was like, "Waterloo, that's the shitty town." But then Tommy goes up there and says Waterloo, and no one laughs, and he does it like five times, and it doesn't work. And then after the show, they're like, oh, "Waterloo's like the one like." black majority town in Iowa. So it looked like Tommy was just being like incredibly <laughs> racist. And the bartender had was like laughing in the back cause she was half black and she had set him up as a prank and he just ruined his whole show <laughs> saying that. I, I think that's so funny. That always cracks me up. <laughs> it's fantastic. Especially that uh, a stranger set him up. Yeah. For they that. just said, it was just like, I'm going <laughs> to fuck this guy's life tonight. Why not? That's very funny. Uh, something really weird happened on my drive over here. Not the thing that I was telling you about where I almost killed someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. We won't talk about that. Yeah, yeah. That that was, uh, yeah. I lo- I'll, I'll say that. I was driving over here and I did something I never do. I was, I was tr- making a note about something I might bring up on the podcast uh-huh. on a side street here downtown. Yeah. And next thing you know, two people were in front of, like, not right in front of me, but about to step right in front of me. Oh, wow. And I was going slow enough that I slammed on my brakes and there was not... Yeah, yeah. My reaction, if I was them, would have been like, F you, motherfucker. Did they How know dear- that you were almost yes, hit them? They, they were they both do. looking right at me oh, and wow. they were, looked like a young, they were a young couple and the girl just looked at me and, and, and like waved and smiled. Like, oh, not, really? M- might have still been in town from like the Taylor Swift oh, concert sure, who like, had the nicest fans ever. Yeah. I don't know, but they were just like, eh, it's okay. We're fine. <laughs> you almost, you almost irreparably damaged me, but you know, that, yeah. that's, that's that Minnesota kindness. But the I, second they turn, they're like, fuck that guy. Probably. Fuck him. Yeah. They probably <laughs> smiled at us. Yeah. Ah, fuck him. Fucking ass. Asshole. When I get back out to my car, there's probably two like huge loogies on the yeah, side of my yeah, car. They're that like, they... lady who smiled at you earlier. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I love that passive aggressive shit. Here. I was trying to write what I was trying to, I was trying to fix something. I was doing a quick little type thing. Like my phone is up here on the oh, dashboard. Sure, sure. I was one, like I didn't have it in my hand, yeah. but I was looking at yeah. it. Yeah. We've all, everyone's doing it. I it. was doing this. Yeah. You know, oh, with, yeah. with oh, the, the type. Yeah. You the can type. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, where you don't have to lift your finger. Yeah. And it wrote the word also. I was trying to write anal. <laughs> These, they're trying to censor comedy. You can't write that probably. Just like when d- ducking instead of fucking exactly. always, every time. And, you, and you're like, officer, why'd you hit those people? Oh, I was trying to write anal on my phone. <laughs> I have proof right here. Yeah, yeah, it's also, it's supposed to be anal though. <laughs> I got Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. No, this is right uh, before that, about 20 minutes before that on the drive over here, I got prank called. Really? That's still happening. I couldn't believe it. Like on your, on the cell phone, yes. you got prank called. Yes. What was the, what were their, what was their little prank? So I say hello. And then like, I immediately hear a guy, what sounds like a guy's voice. So I think it's maybe going to be some sort of, you know, like telemarketing, Telemar- you know, like where they like wait for you to pick up and they're like, oh, hello, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah. Those have really come back in the last year or two. I get five or six telemarketer calls a day. I don't know what happened. It went away and now it's back. I don't know. The Pioneer Press is still calling me. Leave me alone. Oh, sure. But, uh, so this one, I said, hello. And then I, you know, briefly heard what sounded like a guy's voice. Then he quickly went away. And then it was either a guy or a girl trying to do a very high voice quietly and going, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> like a Miss Piggy voice? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you hear me? Grim it. <laughs> and it just was, you know, quiet. And then I went, nope. Can you, no. Ha ha ha. Can you hear me? Nope. And then the guy got on and goes, you sound like a fucking faggot. No, no. And hung up on me. What? Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Wow. Yes. Did you call him back? We, we should. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, that's crazy because they would have to find your. There's no like phone book anymore to prank. So, so. that's what. I, and it, and it, it's the was reason. Was it area code for here? Yes. Oh wow. That's why I picked it up. I was like, well, maybe 
it's right. some business or something I should be answering or something. Yeah, yeah. No, it was somebody calling me a faggot <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's yeah. We're not. That's not a prank anymore. You're like, yeah, I am. What of it? What of it? It's Pride Month. Yeah, Who exactly. Cares? Screw you. Yeah, yeah. What if I am I'm proud of it? Yeah. That's fun. That's bizarre. That's a throwback. Right? You don't see. You don't see that happening anymore. Especially when your number shows up. Yeah. Like, it, I mean, I because now you could easily call them back and be like, figure out where they are. I'm or thinking whatever. about just posting the number on social media and let other oh, people call them back. Oh, okay. I think you dox them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's not bad. Here's the thing I'm worried about. There are apps, I think, or programs where you can... You can mask your number. Mask your yeah. number. It might be... They could know how to do that. That's probably... I don't actually know how... It's probably not that hard, actually, but... It's not. They're my, all... My bro- buddy used to prank call people with like this program just within the last couple of years. Oh, and it, really? And you can program it to look like your friend's phone number. So you're like, Joe, what's up? Oh, and then and it's the- like, I'm I'm lost. I'm stuck in a please please come help me. And you're like, what? 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 Oh God. Yeah. My grandpa gets hit with those a lot. They they're they're scams. There's yes. a there's a really good scam. He almost gave them money. They like they call and they're like, Oh, your son Jeffrey's in terrible danger. And they have people who can like do an impression of me, like being like, Oh, grandpa, I I need money. I'm in a hospital or something. And like Georgia or whatever and my grandpa was like thought it was me and he almost sent them like a thousand dollars thank god he has a couple wits left in my him, parents so my grandparents got that phone call about three years ago really and my my grandma was like I can't hear you and they're like it's your oldest grandson they didn't say a name they covered up which t- well because then th- then she'll be like Jeremy and then exactly. they know the name they, and I actually am the oldest grandson oh wow yeah so they okay and they're like and, I'm in Costa Rica I got in an accident yeah it was something like that and she's That's, like what what why didn't your mom tell me about this talk to your grandfather and then he got on the phone and was like Leave us alone. This is a print, you know. So he knew it was a scam. Okay, yes. that's good. Yeah, that's, him, yeah, that's good. Like, you motherfuckers. Yeah, it's so dangerous. sad. It's so sick. It's so sick. Yeah, Arr, trying to take advantage of that. Dare you. Very How evil. Freaking dare you. Um, I know you're still doing your podcast. I do still do my podcast, the You're an Idiot podcast, every Monday. It's a fun time. Yeah. Got a Patreon now. It's exhausting. Podcast. Two episodes a week. It's a lot of work. Yeah. I would have never. I thought podcast just you know, talk with my friends forty five minutes. That's it. But there's so much to it. But it's fun. It's a good time. And you have merch. We do. At the I show? do sell koozies with that say you're an idiot on them. Yes. Yeah. They're usually red and white, but my koozie guy ran out, so they're black and white this weekend. Usually they're red and white for Wisconsin, but I have last year's model. Oh yeah, you have last year's mm-hmm. model. So yeah, good. We got a new one. Yeah, I think this will probably be the end of the. Co- I want to do t-shirts next, but there's more money in t-shirts. The koozies are they're not my favorite to sell. So I got I, this is a tip I'm going to start giving comedians. I, I just I thought of this this week. I want to know what you think of this. Uh-huh. So yeah, have you noticed in, a lot of comedians? They, some comedians are using this same kind of like premise as material these days. It's about when you, everywhere you go these days, they ask for a tip. Yes. Right? Yes. Like everywhere. Everywhere. Oh. Flip it around. As soon as you see that thing flip around, oh, they're going to be asking for a tip. It's insane. I do a job, you know, where like I'm selling beers and now I have face to face and have to like. Oh, oh, you're selling beers at like the Target Center yes, XL? Yes. Yeah, so like this afternoon, tonight I'll be Wait, working. There, at, you, there's a tip thing on that now too? So like at the St. Paul Saints game tonight, I'll be selling beers and after our, tra- or th- to finish our transaction i will hand this to you my little machine yeah and it has a gratuity and i have to somehow ask you what you would like to put on there oh. which is super uncomfortable and i still haven't figured out a cool How, way to do, do people that. get mad they don't get mad they, they just, just like roll their eyes or whatever some, and yeah. a lot of people will feel guilty and hit the lowest one just for something some people do throw you 10 percent or sure. whatever yes yeah. But then sometimes they'll just have no problem just hitting zero right yeah, in front of your face, yeah, yeah. which sort of hurts. Sure, or they'll sure. hit the one that says custom, and then they say zero. Yeah, really? Oh, because they may want to make it seem like they're doing a yes, big. I've one. had that. Dang. So here's what I'm That's suggesting brutal. to comedians: a tip thing. S- start accepting payments like they do, like I do at these events. That's not a bad idea. With a tip function. Yeah. And I'm not actually joking. No, I think because that's, what, I think people would do that. Because here's what you said to me last year. Some that it doesn't always matter what you're selling to people. If they like what you did, they want to give you money. They uh, that I think that is true. They don't give eighty percent of them don't actually want the koozie. It's just a token of me saying thank you for the money and coming. I think I I, I mean I don't I don't know how you would do that on your phone. I'm sure there's a way though. I would I have to. I'm sure I could figure that out. Yeah, I and mean, then technically, a donation we, bucket for for 
cash or whatever too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So sometimes when people pay, but if sometimes people like keep the change and stuff to you, right? Oh, all the, all time. the time. All the time. Yeah. Guy gave me a hundred dollar bill on Wednesday. Yeah, which was great. Yeah. yeah. That happens more than you'd think, actually. They there's people here who are like a little better off. They like want to give me money. They're like, we're this is their charity. They're not going to give money to a food shelter. They'll give it to a starving comic who they thought was funny. You're, you look hungry. I look hungry. I look <laughs> like I haven't had a good meal in a bit. And they're like, give. They, they have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. I was in Vail, Colorado doing shows. They're so rich there. They were just, they gave me so much money. It was great. Do you ever, I'm so glad you said that because I was trying to figure out a way how I could bring this up. Something that's been on my mind this uh -huh. week. You just perfectly set me up for this. Do you ever feel like when you're around people that are crazy rich, like in a social setting that you shouldn't, that you felt feel out of place? Because that happened to me this week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, Where I'm like, we have nothing in common, but go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Especially when they talk about like the... Like the re in New York, if you're around rich person, they'll talk about the restaurants they go to, the neighborhoods they live in, and you know right away. Like if they live in the Upper West Side, it's a it's a different world. That's that's a five thousand dollar a month studio apartment or more than that yeah. probably. So yeah, there is like they're also usually not good audience members too. Rich people don't need joy. They're already <laughs> they're already rich. They don't need to laugh more. Or like the women, their faces are so botoxed up. They're like, I don't want to crease my face with laughter. I don't want to ruin this fifty thousand dollar face or whatever. So yeah, I. But I love when they come and give me money after the show. I want to believe someone has actually said that to you an excuse like, look, this is f I mean, I, my fresh husband surgery. paid for it. I can't ruin his fucking face. Yeah, can't do it. He's right. Right here, he hasn't even paid the bill yet. It's yeah, like, it's yeah, still on the credit card. <laughs> it's still on the credit you card. You were around some rich people. Yes, recently? thank you. So, uh, so I we had a quick vacation up to uh, the Grand Marais Lutzen area oh, yeah. earlier this week. Some rich people go up there for yes, sure. Yes, and uh, we were introduced to someone, and uh, she was like, "I mean, first of all, you're being introduced to people that, that own homes." On the mountain in Lutzen, like you have to have a certain right. amount of money. Probably a winter home. Probably a su probably their second home too. Oh, yeah. oh it is their second home. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes. This is the vacation home. Uh huh. Uh, so you have to have some sort of money just to do that. But I mean, that's great. But then when I hear when I'm there and they start talking about, oh yeah, well, I was at the Taylor Swift concert and I was there, you know, because I work there. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, and the guy I was with, he's like, oh, how much did you pay? And she's like, well, we kept waiting for tickets to go down. They never did, even day of. Uh huh. We got three tickets. $3,300. Whoa. <laughs> That's insane. I wouldn't pay that much money to see Jesus Christ if he came back. <laughs> Singing, though? Singing. Maybe if he did Jesus Christ Superstar, that'd be fun. 1100 for each ticket. Yes. That's 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 wrong. Yes. That's wrong. And then it just like... Was that even the most expensive ticket, probably? Oh, God, no. No, oh, really? I mean, no, no. There's people. There were people paying more than that. This is secondary market. So, oh, you know, wow. the sky's the limit. Oh, wow. I mean, it's whatever you're willing to pay. Yeah. I'm sure the face value was considerably less than $1,100. Yeah. I know it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they the, were, all the StubHub people buy Exactly. Yeah. Like, I looked on StubHub just to see what they were throwing out. And the day of, you know, last Friday, obstructed view. So literally behind the stage, we're going for $600. Oh, wow. Were Why you, would you ever buy an obstructed view ticket? That's just stupid. I mean, it's not much different than the pe different than the people that were waiting outside the enclosed arena to kind of listen to it. Oh, which there really? were several hundred, maybe thousand people doing that as well. Just so they could hear the hear noise? A little bit of music and a lot of cheering. Oh my god. Yes. And they're just like dancing kind of around. Yeah. So that's wow. the so uh will you ever get that level of success is what I'm leading to. I I honestly hope not. I hope I don't. I feel like that I know some comics who are rich and they there's they there's a point where they stop being real people. I don't know exactly what dollar mark that's at, but yeah. I think you're not as funny. I actually hope I don't get that much money because I think you lose touch with the audience and you might get big audiences, but I think a lot of those comics get not that funny. I when they get that when they're making millions a year, they're they'll go on stage and be like, Y'all ever hang out on a yacht with Jay Z? And they're like, No, what? I read this about it. Yeah, yeah. This is not really relatable <laughs> no. at all. I don't want to be one of those guys talking about like celebrities. I think that's a bad I hate that type of comedy. Yeah. Like name dropping. I think that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I don't think I'm gonna be there, but this is me saying I don't want to be there. I'm putting that out there in the universe. <laughs> putting that out in the universe. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but for the record, I do just, because it's happened many times on the podcast, I do like a good name drop. 
a date. Oh, okay. Like if you were like, well, I was hanging out with her. Like I'm, I eat that up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, I was a Jay Z on his yacht. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know me. You know me. That's who I hang around. <laughs> Beyonce invited me. Yeah, B, yeah. Queen B invited yeah, me. Yeah, B. I don't call her Beyonce. People who know her call her B. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> um. So let's see. The the special will be out July twentieth. The only funny white man special debuts on YouTube. It's very serious, and I mean what I say. <laughs> 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 the only funny white man. Jews aren't white. Uh, <laughs> you're you're prepared to be taken to task on anything you say on there. Correct? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I have a few. I actually don't think this one is actually that controversial this special i think the material i'm doing now is a lot more offensive the, the special i think is fairly tame have you uh finally have you had anybody rush the stage recently to try to it like, has uh, not happened confront you since with anything? it happened twice earlier i think we talked about that yes, last year but did. no it has not people are i think people have actually calmed down a little bit i think there was a time after the pandemic where people forgot how to behave in public i actually have not had many heckler things happen recently oh that's I awesome i did have a I was in Savannah, Georgia doing a show. Savannah, beautiful town. I've never been there, but it was, it was amazing. But there was a guy, a lady who looked just like Marjorie Taylor Greene in the front row. And then a guy in a, like a motorized wheelchair. I think it was her husband. And this lady just, she would not shut up. She would not stop talking. She was a huge Trumper, just got mad at anything even remotely liberal, was just like, you fucking song. And finally she left, and it was kind of funny, the guy in the wheelchair, it was a whole thing for him to leave. Everyone had to like stand up and move all the chairs and create an alley for him. I was like, I've walked people. I've never rolled someone before. I've never rolled anyone out of the audience before. <laughs> and it like ruined the show for this guy to leave. Like it was a huge to do to get him out of the place. And it was like, you hate, you really hated my comedy. You like, it was like five minutes. Everyone had to get up, move around to get oh him God. out of there. It was so funny. It was a very comic. <laughs> and I just really couldn't, I was just kind of silent for like a couple of minutes just while it happened. It was one of the more r absurd scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> That, I didn't see that one on social media. No, that one was, I didn't really, I didn't catch that one in film. I don't, it was, it was, I don't think that's social media worthy. That's just something I'll never forget seeing this man wheeled out of my show. Screw you. Screw mm. you. Can you move your chair? <laughs> it was very funny. Thank you so much for doing this once again. Thank you for having me. It was a um, good time. Yeah, thank you. Um, for people that don't know, your website is? Whitecomedian.com. Um, bought the URL years ago. It's the funniest thing I've ever done. Touring all. I'm doing way too much touring this year. Please buy a ticket. Whitecomedian.com. Perfect. Hell yeah. Thank Thanks you. for having me.